Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're talking Saxon Algebra 1, uh, third edition value problems. Let's get right into it. Grab your notebook, you're gonna wanna write these examples down. Uh, so for our first one, airline fares for flights from Tifton to Adele are 30 for first class and 25 for tourist class. If a flight had 52 passengers who, who paid a total of uh, 1,360, how many first class passengers were on the trip? Now, this is called a system of equations because we're gonna use two variables in order to solve it. And as much as you're not gonna wanna hear it, the SATs has a ton of system of equation uh, problems. So being able to do these word problems is gonna be very helpful for you. So the first thing that you wanna do is, I'm gonna use my new highlighters because I just got some new highlighters. So uh, you wanna look at this. How many first class passengers were on the trip? How many? Oops, helps if I highlight the whole thing. How many? How many? This is a key for us. We want to know the number of first class passengers and the number of tourist class. So F equals, and you don't just write first class here, you write number of first class passengers. Now T equals the number of tourists. I was about to write second class passengers, but I don't think we call it that anymore. Tourist class passengers. Okay, so you want, this is called your key or your legend. It's really important that you have this. If you get a word problem and you have no idea what's going on, the best thing that you can do is uh, ask like, what am I looking for? And then come up with a key or a legend. Okay, so now that we know we're looking for the number of, um, if, Flights from Tifton to Adele are 30 and 25. If a flight had 52 passengers. Okay, so let's start with that. That's our quantity. If we, now remember, this is the number of passengers. So if we had one first class passenger, we would have to have 51 tourist class passengers because we know the total number of passengers is 52. So the number of first class passengers plus the number of tourist class passengers is gonna give us a total of 52. Now, we know first class is uh, 30. I wanna know where these places are that $30, you can fly for $30, what? So we know that's $30. Uh, and we know our tourist class is 25, meaning if we had uh, one tourist class passenger, uh, they would spend $25. If we had two, we would be spending $50. Or we, I guess the airline would be, the revenue would be $50. If uh, there were 10 uh, tourist class passengers on there, that would be $250. So what we're doing is we're taking the cost of it and we're multiplying it by the number of them that there are for both of these. So this is gonna be times F and this one is gonna be times T. Now in Saxon, they use subscripted variables and I think that this is important. So, uh, oh, before I get to subscripted variables, one more thing. Remember, if we take the total amount, so if we have one first class passenger, that's $30, right? And one tourist class passenger, that would be a total of $25, but together that would be a total of $55. Uh, so what we know is that when we add these two things up, we end up with $13.60. Okay, so that's important information for the next one. Now, uh, subscripted variables. And I think this is important. Saxon does it. it. You don't have to do it, but it is really helpful. I'm going to move my face here. It is really helpful for figuring out, um, and this is new software, so I'm going to shrink my face for you guys. Okay, for figuring out like what you're looking for, right? So since we're looking for the number of passengers, what I'm going to say is instead of F plus T equals 52, I'm going to say NF, the number of first class plus the number of tourist class equals 52. Now, 30 times the number of first class plus 25 times the number of tourist class equals uh, 1360. Now we could have just done F and T instead of N subscripted with an F and subscripted with a T, but going through Saxon through, um, all the way through like at advanced mathematics, if you head that route, uh, they use a ton of subscripted variables. So this is really good practice. Okay, so I have two equations here. And when I have two equations, two variables as well, <clears throat> I have to use a system of equations, which I can do by graphing. <coughs> That's terrible. Uh, or you can do by uh, elimination or substitution. But before we go there, I wanna point out that again, this is my quantity here, quantity. 
And this guy is the value. Notice how I have $30, $25 and $1360. I always see the most common mistake where the 1360 goes over here or the 52 goes over here. Don't make that mistake. Be very clear about which is uh, your quantity, which is your value. Now, I think we should use substitution to solve this. Uh, we have to get our, either our F or our T by itself. It doesn't matter. Uh, so we'll do this minus N sub T. So N sub F equals 52 minus N sub T. Bam, that means N sub F meet equals all this garbage. All I have to do is plug that bad boy in right where there's the N sub F here. So that gives me 30 times quantity 52 minus N sub T plus 25 N sub T equals 1360. And now you see that we only have N, N sub T. So now we just have to solve. So if we've got uh, 30 times, uh, 52. It's one five six zero one thousand fifty or uh, five hundred sixty uh, minus thirty t uh, n t plus twenty five n sub t equals one three six. So I distributed to here and to here. Uh, now what I want to do is minus fifteen sixty from both sides. At the same time, I can combine like terms negative thirty. Uh, n sub t and plus 25 n sub t. That's going to give me negative 5 n sub t. And then if we do 1360 minus 1560, we end up with 200. Oh, negative 200. Signs are important here. You shouldn't be getting negatives when you're doing this because you can't have negative passengers, like a negative number of passengers, right? So divide both sides by negative 5 and we end up with n sub t equals 40. Okay, so the number of tourist class passengers is 40, and you'd want to write a complete sentence, right? Number of first class passengers, we're going to take this information that we have now, and right over here, 52 minus 40. So the number of first class passengers then would be 12. All right, let's try another one of these problems. So this uh, Wakatasha or Watak Kasha's ooh, um, dress shop sold less expensive dresses for $20 each and more expensive ones for $45. The shop took in $13.75 and sold 20 more of the less expensive dresses than the more expensive dresses. That means that the more expensive dresses, uh, more expensive is the, um, is 20 less than the, uh, actually what we could do is we could say the less expensive dress equals the more expensive one plus 20. I think that would probably be the easiest. But first we have to establish our variables. Uh, I just wanted to point out that that's what that was going to be. So how many, again, key here and fancy highlighters, how many, how many means let, uh, let me see, let L equal, oops, L equal number of less expensive dresses. Let M equal number of more expensive dresses. Now, uh, we are going to use subscripted variables here, so uh, we will get to that point. Now, how many did they sell? I can't just take the number of less expensive plus the number of more expensive and say that they equal 57, right? Um, but what we do know is that they sold 20 more of the less expensive dresses. So this formula that I have here is perfect. We're gonna say the number of less, less expenses, expensive dresses equals the number of more expensive dresses plus 20 more after that. But now we have to do, so that's our quantity. Now we have to do our value. We take L and we're gonna multiply that, or I'm sorry, uh, the less expensive one was 20. So we take 20 and we multiply it by the number of dresses, L. Uh, and then we have $35, oh, $45, sorry. 45, look at all these scribbles. Man, what am I doing here? 45 of the more expensive dresses. But of course, we're gonna use some subscripted variables. Uh, this is our value is here. So we want a dollar amount. And if you need to, you can write dollar signs in there, uh, which means dollar signs go here, which is 1375. Okay, so then we have 20 times L, but we're gonna use sub subscripted variables. So 20, the number of less expensive, plus 
45 times the number of more expensive equals 1375. Okay, uh, this would be a great case for substitution again because uh, N sub L it all equals all of this stuff. Words are hard today, apparently. So all I have to do is plug that in right over here. So I get 20 quantity number of more expensive plus 20 uh, plus 45 N sub M equals 1375. Okay. So I used to write in pencil when I made these videos, but it uh, was really hard to see for kids on their phone. So I use markers now, but I make a lot of mistakes. So deal with it. Ah! All right, so 20 N M sub N plus 400, because I distributed to here, to here, plus 45 N sub M equals 1375. Now I am going to minus 400 from both sides. And at the same time that I do that, you'll see that I wrote the answers here just to make sure that I got it right uh, as I'm doing these, because you never know when I'm uh, doing it in front of the camera. Okay, so uh, 20 N sub M plus 45, that's gonna be 65 N sub M equals uh, 975, right? Let's just make sure I've got this correct. 975, yeah. Uh, divide that by 65 and we end up with N sub M equals 15. So the number of more expensive dresses sold uh, was 15 dresses of more expensive. Now we take that information back over to here and we say the less expensive dresses are the more expensive ones plus 20. So the number of less expensive is 35 dresses uh, less expensive. You should really write a full sentence when you're doing word problems because it'll help you on those ones. Okay. So let's do the practice problems now. Uh, here are the two practice problems. Pause the video, do those, come on back, and we'll talk about them. Okay, so uh, for A, you should have gotten 13. And for B, you should have gotten adult tickets. That was 112. And children's tickets, whoops, children's tickets are 63. If you didn't get that, stick around and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so tickets, for the good seats cost $8 and tickets for the other seats cost $3. If 18 tickets were sold for a total of this, how many tickets for the good seat were sold? So let uh, number of good seats equal, so let N sub G equal number of good seats. Then let number of, I'm going to call it bad seats instead of O for other, because O, when you're dealing with O in math, it just looks like a zero. So the number of bad seats of bad seats. Uh, and I know this because it asked for how many, that was the key there. Uh, the other ones, the other types of questions that you'll see in the SAT that look like this, will say, uh, instead of how many, they'll say something like, what was the cost of this? Find the cost of this. So just keep that in mind. Now, um, the good seats were eight dollars some put that right here and the other seats were three dollars if 18 tickets were sold so our quantity is 18 and our value don't forget we got to put our variables here uh and then n b because we're multiplying the number of the good seats times eight dollars gives us 119 so we have two sentences we can use here Number of good seats plus number of bad seats equals 18. And then we have eight times the number of good seats plus three times the number of bad seats equals 119. So again, here is our quantity. Here is our value. And if you need to throw some uh, dollar signs on there so you can see dollar signs all the way across. Uh, all right. So then if I minus N sub B, I get N sub g equals 18 minus n sub b okay let's take all that garbage and we're going to insert it for ng n sub g right the number of good seats right there so eight times 18 minus n sub b plus three n sub b equals one one nine uh eight times 18 144 minus eight n b plus three n b equals one one nine minus 144 from both sides. At the same time, I'm gonna combine these like terms, I get negative, let me show my work, and uh, negative five B equals, uh, 
let's see negative 25 so that means the number of bad seats was 25 and the number of good seats we just put it right back in here Ooh, this seems a little not 25 5 because you divide both sides by uh negative 5 right I, this is what happens when i don't show my work i make silly errors so the number of bad seats five which means the number of good seats is 18 minus 5 which gives us 13 g no i can't write and g equals 13 5 6 7 8 yeah just making sure i got that uh and that's what i said we should have 13. all right at a basketball game adult tickets sold for five dollars and children's tickets sold for two dollars if uh 70 175 how many blah 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 uh so how many so we're gonna say adult tickets let a equal and don't just write adult tickets we're gonna helps if you can see the problem number of adult tickets and let c equal number of children's tickets right now we could use our subscripted variables we don't have to uh but we know that the total was 175 so these guys are 175 we have a plus c equals 175 the number of adult tickets sold for five dollars so five times the number of adult tickets and then the other ones were two dollars so 2c gives us a value of 686 dollars and again when we write that out you could say five dollars times the number of adult tickets plus two dollars times the number of children's tickets equals the total number of dollars look at look for those dollar signs that's our value there uh okay so over here what we can do is minus c minus c once you understand the subscripted variables you don't have to use them but it does come in handy for saxon all right a equals all this garbage here so we're going to take that put that right over here five times 175 minus c plus two times c equals six eight six all right one seven five times five gives me eight seventy five minus five c plus two c equals six eight six minus eight seven five from both sides i get negative three c equals negative one eight nine divide both sides by negative three and we get c equals 63 so the number of children's tickets 63 tickets which means we take that information back over to our other problem here and we have adult tickets equals 175 minus 63 i don't want to make a mistake here so uh we've got 112 and that's what we said we should have so excellent job if you have any questions leave them down below otherwise i will see you next time thanks so much